Okay, you guys, this is Michael Fuller once again. I'm talking to you from my basement. Sorry for the crappy audio. I had to rush this. My basement is the safest place I can find right now. If you listened to my last audio or read my blog, then you know about the level 3 flu outbreak that happened in South America. I'm calling it level 3 because it killed 10,000 people. This flu got to the States and ended up in a small town a little ways from here, Paxton, Florida. Once the flu virus had infected more than 50% of Paxton's residents, the military had to step in. This was about nine weeks ago. After this, I told you guys to watch the news segment before this story. It said the army had contained the flu virus 100%. <laughs> well, I've got news for you guys. It's reached here, outside of Tallahassee, which means something went wrong. This flu virus had infected maybe 65% of Greensboro. The military stepped in here after it reached over 50% also. I'm not sure what kind of job they're doing out there now, but something's been bothering me. If the news segment said the virus had been contained in Paxton 100%, how did it get outside of town? Either someone infected with the flu virus got out, or what I've been thinking, which is that the flu virus is airborne. I'm no expert, but here's some things I suggest you do just in case you're close to my area which means the flu virus may be heading your way. First, come up with an escape plan. I know that sounds crazy for me here in this basement, but there are windows down here, and if the power goes out, I'm through. So, it won't be a good idea to stay in a place like this. Second, create an escape kit and keep it near one of your exit doors, like the back or the front door. You should... Pack things like a flashlight, batteries, canned foods, water, first aid kit, money, and some sort of weapon. Now, I only have a few minutes left. My battery is dying. I live a few miles from Tallahassee. I hope and pray that this flu virus does not reach any major cities. If it does, it'll be a catastrophe. Darn, my batteries are going to die in about 10 seconds, so... I'll try to make another recording as soon as I can find some extra batteries. Oh, and remember to watch the news. Alright, signing out.